Midday News. A common abortion pill will remain accessible across the U.S. Our Angelica Sanchez is live downtown with details on the U.S. Supreme Court ruling this morning. Angelica. Good morning, guys. Well, Planned Parenthood in a statement says that this ruling is a temporary win for abortion rights, but the battle is far from over. Now, this case revolves around the abortion drug known as Mifepristone. It's used as part of a two-drug FDA-approved regimen. It's now the most common form of abortion used in the United States. The Food and Drug Administration currently allows the drug to be delivered via mail. Today, the, drug, the court found unanimously that the anti-abortion doctors who are questioning the FDA FDA's decision to lift restrictions to access the drug did not have the legal basis to sue. This is why the case was dismissed. The Supreme Court did not make any other ruling on the legal merits surrounding this issue. Our political analyst Paul Lisnak says this is why this case is likely to resurface. My prediction, this case will return to the Supreme Court in some years to come when different plaintiffs bring up the matter and argue to the Supreme Court the very same things. It will not surprise me if when that case returns to the Supreme Court, perhaps a few years from now, the court rules substantively and differently. Now, experts say that the FDA approved this drug more than 20 years ago and has been used by more than 5 million people to safely end an early pregnancy. Chicago abortion rights groups are planning an emergency press conference outside of the federal courthouse today to talk about this ruling. For now, live downtown, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News. Thank you, Angelica. A shooting in the east side neighborhood.